Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is quite a bit different, it is late in the day. And I'm on the road, look at that. Is that a waterfall there? Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so it's like 5.30 and I'm on the road. I'm gonna camp tonight beside the river, I'm gonna fish tomorrow. I might spend two nights out here, or maybe just one, I'm not sure, I'm kinda playing it by ear. The original plan was to go bright and early this morning, but I, Got a little carried away with the beers last night, so I spent most of the morning in bed just feeling sorry for myself. Just threw everything in the car and I've left. I've probably forgotten something really important. We'll find out when I go to use it. So I've got about another two hours to where I need to get. It's gonna be like almost eight o'clock by the time I get there. Um, maybe, if I'm lucky, I'll maybe fish an evening rise or something like that. We'll see how we go. Uh, but regardless of whether I fish or not, I've got some footage from the other day that I wanna show you guys, so. So we'll get back on the road, hopefully get there in reasonable time and uh, catch some fish. made it. Beauty. Still pretty early. There's still a couple, an hour at least probably of sun, so I should be able to get some fishing done. I, I'll probably just throw a dry fly, maybe a dry dropper through this, hope for some sort of evening rice. I'm not going to take it too seriously. So. And then get set up in my truck. I, I'm really, I, just, I love being in camping mode inside this thing. It's just good fun. Let's go do the obligatory look off the bridge. I can see pretty well in there but I can't actually see a fish. I'm not sure what fish numbers are like in this area of this river, whether it's good or bad but um, I'll find out shortly. But this isn't actually the river that I want to fish. The one that I want to fish actually comes in well, just over behind these bushes somewhere. I've never fished it before. I've been meaning to for years so I'm finally here so pretty excited about that. All right so what do I need out of here? So I got a new roof box. First time I've used it in anger. Sweet, I've got two wading boots up here. Which is a great start. Should I put some pants on or should I just go in shorts? I mean I don't plan on going far or going deep. Okay, we'll just put some, we'll just go in shorts. We'll go as we are. So this is even, like I'm wearing shorts and just my t-shirt. I never fish like this, it's kind of funny. But I'm only out here for, Oh, it's here, the fishing is not for long. Um, but I have got some fish I want to show you from a couple of weeks ago when I fished the Tongariro. So if I don't find anything down here, stay tuned for those fish. Something funny happens on both of them anyway. Um, but we'll go down here, see what the, see what the, see what it's like, and uh, then I'll show you those clips. Ooh, that was exciting. All right, that sucks. All right, looks like I've been defeated on the fish here. I did hook one. I've literally only given it like 20 minutes. This is a perfect time to keep fishing, but I want to get, my truck's a bit of a mess. It makes me uncomfortable when it's not organized and once it's organized I feel like I can relax but when it's in chaos not so much take off the no point point has been, been updated please check it on the map I would normally have a beer about now but after last night I do not feel like it Coke it is. I'm just kind of figuring out that I've got a lot more equipment and I kind of don't know where anything is. So 
I'm just going back and forth from side to side looking for stuff. I'm gonna have to figure out a bit more of a a bit better system. What am I even looking for? Oh this thing. That wasn't the right spot. So definitely one mistake I've made is I haven't brought heaps of things that I need. But I'll get by. I can make do. What have I got in here? Do my dinner. Creamy bacon cabanero. Cabin. Cabanero? How do you? I don't know. I'm not much of a chef. Food connoisseur. I don't know. If I'm hungry, I'll eat it. That's kind of how I look at food. Hmm. That's probably read the instructions. So while I'm cooking this, I'll show you these fish I was talking about since I didn't catch any out there. Sandflash. So it's pretty much just dump it in. Something really funny happens with the first one and the second one I catch in kind of a ridiculous fashion. So check out these clips. Got him. Oh yes, got him. Good brown, very good brown. Please stay on. God, I needed this. This has been struggle street to find a fish. I cruised way, way downstream, or and upstream. I've been all over the place actually. And I can't find my net. Come here, brown. Come here, Brown. I know you want to come here. Now come back. Come back. Come back. Come back, Jack. Yes. Oh, good fish. Alright, so I have been all over the show this morning looking for a fish uh, and I've been friggin' rewarded with a very nice brown. Probably at least five pound, maybe six if we're lucky, but stoked to get one. Holy crap, I just got a fish on the swing on a dry dropper, sitting it out there in that. wonder what this is. Pretty bloody strong. Really fat rainbow. Not even that big, but nice fish. Quite, quite a nice rainbow, really. Uh, he had eaten the nymph, but he had the dry fly wrapped up in a peck fin. That's why he was so strong, but beautiful fish. Happy with that. See you, buddy. Yeah, so you can see that, that brown trout. Uh, he just escaped way before I even noticed that he was gone, but fair enough, too, because I was taking my time with him. Um, but you can see he was in the water, he was free, he was free to go. Um, so he's not like, you know, I still treated him pretty well apart from the fact that I, I took my sweet time trying to set my camera up. So, fair juice, fair enough that fish got to swim away. Uh, it was pretty funny. So I didn't know when it had happened and then when I watched the footage back, oh man, it made me laugh. But a good fish, so I was super happy to catch that. I don't know why I didn't make a video of that trip, I just never got around to it. Um, 
but uh, and then that rainbow that was a dry dropper swung in like 20 feet of water and that rainbow really nice rainbow too hit that on the swing he must have must have been a surface strike I was looking the other direction when it happened but it must have been so close to a surface strike um, yeah so pretty happy with that so those are the two fish for this video I'm gonna cook me some dinner I'll let you know how it tastes shortly might have a coffee and then I'm gonna do some editing because it's probably gonna to be too dark to show you around inside the truck I'll probably do it tomorrow um, which might be the same video could be another video I'm not sure and but I've got some 230 volt in there so I can run my laptop and stuff like that so once I've once I've had dinner climb in there and um, do some editing see how the see how the 230 volt uh, works in the truck Oh, man. I'm fucking boiling here, guys. Oh, shit. Alright, it's gotta be cool enough now. Barely. Alright, editing has been successful. I haven't done a lot, I'm pretty tired. I just tested it out. Everything seems to work good. So I can now eat it on the road. It's pretty cool. So that'll be it. Uh, sorry there wasn't a whole lot of fishing in this video. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know if you did. So we will see you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Uh, when we go fish that river. New river. Excited. Can't wait. Alright, catch us then. Peace.